So you want to use Optifine with your fabric mods. Whether this is mod like the replay mod, whether it's any other fabric mod, you know replay is probably one of the more popular fabric mods out there and you want to use Optifine with it. Whether that's for shaders or whether it's just for the performance boost that Optifine can provide. For whatever reason, you want to use Optifine and the fabric mod loader together. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do just that. From downloading and installing fabric to adding Optifine to it to even adding in Optifabric, which you can see right here on your screen. This is our tutorial on how to get the Optifabric mod because Optifabric is required in order to run Optifine with Fabric. So first things first, what you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below and that's going to take you here. This is the Optifabric tutorial on our website and if you want to go through it kind of at your own pace, you can do so here. But nonetheless, once you are here, click on the yellow download Optifabric button. That will take you to the official Optifabric download page where you want to look at the right hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.18 section. Under that we have Optifabric, we're going to click on the orange download button here and the download begin after a few seconds. While it's downloading, how about a visit our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love to test Apex so much that we all start our own server, play at our breakdowncraft.com on them, so check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, once Optifabric has downloaded, as you can see it has done so now, you may need to keep it in the bottom left of your screen or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to do that. We then need to download Optifine. Of course, Optifine is needed in order to use Optifine with Fabric, and you can find that at the third link in the description down below. Once you're here, just scroll down and click the green Download Optifine button to be taken to the official Optifine download page. Then under that, you want to find Minecraft 1.18.2 and then find the version of Optifine under it. Doesn't matter if it's H7 or H32, doesn't matter what number it is there. All that matters is that Optifine is under 1.18.2. Come over here and click on the mirror link and it will take us to the download page for Optifine 1.18.2 or we want to click on the blue download button. Again, this will download on the bottom left of Google Chrome or on the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Now there is one more thing that we do need to download and that of course is the fabric mod loader. Now if you already got the fabric mod loader, awesome. You can kind of skip this part, but you will need fabric and we do have a dedicated tutorial on how to get fabric in the description. That will take you here. Once you're here, scroll down, click the yellow download fabric button. That will take you to Fabric's official download page where you want to click on the download universal jar. I prefer to use the jar because it kind of fixes issues that you can have with mods later on if you use the jar. Whereas if you download for Windows, you may have things like jar files not working correctly. With Minecraft in the future, we just use the jar now. You don't have to worry about that. So we click on the download universal jar. Now, this mod doesn't require the Fabric API, but you might need it in the future, just so you know. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and I recommend dragging everything to your desktop just so we can work with it easier. Where is it? What's in your downloads folder right now? So click on the little windows icon, the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or in the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Click on that little windows icon, type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, open that up and then in here you'll find fabric, Optifine and Optifabric. Drag and drop all of these to your desktop. Now first things first, we wanna start off with Optifabric, but what if your icons don't look like my icons? Well, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a second, but first, let's see if we can open up Fabric at all. To do that, you wanna right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, or if your icons look weird, you need to download and install Java, specifically Java 17. This is required for all Minecraft mods, such as Fabric, or such as Optifine, both of them require Java 17. And you can find a link on how to get this in the description down below. It's a simple three-step process and it shows you everything you need to know to get Java installed for Minecraft mods. Now, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is gonna take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. You can check this out in the description down below as well. It's also a simple and easy tutorial, so go through that. And then finally, you should be able to right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, Click Java and click OK. That will then open up the Fabric installer like so, where you want to make sure 1.18.2 is selected and click Install. It will then come up and say Successfully Installed, where you can click OK and then close out of the Fabric installer. You can also delete Fabric at this point, you don't need it. Now let's get Optifine and Optifabric installed. To do this, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to locate the fabric profile that was just created. Now, if you don't have a fabric profile, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. But as you can see, mine's already selected in the bottom left. 
No matter though, we want to come up here to the installations tab and we want to find a fabric loader. Now right here it is, but if you don't have fabric in here, what do you do? Well, you want to make sure that modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked modded, fabric disappears, check it, and there is fabric. You're good to continue. Don't click play, but you're good to continue. Now, if you still don't have fabric here for 1.18.2, click on new installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'll name it fabric optifine. 1.18.2, it's always good to have the version noted. And then we wanna go ahead and click on this version dropdown box here. Then we wanna find a release fabric loader. So right there it is, release fabric loader, and then 1.18.2. Click on that. I'm gonna change the resolution just so you can see once we get in game, and then click create. So now, once you have either your custom made fabric profile or the one that's there by default, go ahead and click on the little folder that appears when you hover over it on the installations tab. So again, we're up here at the installations tab at the top of the Minecraft launcher, hover over fabric and click on the folder that appears here. Then in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, I don't either. So just go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, except I misspelled it mods mods exactly like this right here then open up your mods folder and now drag and drop optifine and optifabric into this mods folder together yes both of them in the mods folder optifine and optifabric now we can come back to the minecraft launcher and we can play minecraft you can do this by clicking on play on the fabric loader installation either when you create it or the one that's there by default it doesn't really matter you're gonna get a warning that you're about to play mod in minecraft you know that so click you're good to go and click play again and now minecraft is going to open up with Optifine and any other fabric mods you have installed. By the way, if you had other mods in your mods folder, just drop Optifine and Optifabric right in there with them, like the replay mod or anything like that. I will see you on the Minecraft main menu to show you this is working. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and if we look in the bottom left, we can see fabric. Right there that is. That's an indication that this has fabric, but it's not an indication that it has Optifine. To check that, you want to click on Options, and then Video Settings. And then in the bottom left, you'll see Optifine, but most importantly, you'll see all of Optifine's settings here. We can go into Shaders, and there are all of our shaders. As you can see, SUS is already activated. Let's go to like uh, something a little more subtle, like Vanilla Plus. Or even, actually, no, th this is a video. We'll, we'll do BSL. BSL is my favorite all-time shaders pack. Now we should be able to launch right on into Minecraft and we will have beautiful shaders with fabric and Optifine working together to make that happen. Now there are shaders packs specific, or sorry, there are shaders mods specifically for fabric, but there's really no reason to use them in my opinion, but uh, as you can see, we have shaders on fabric. Now, let's thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.